Good morning guys, I am in my bathroom today and I'm gonna be showing you my skincare routine, what I do in the morning and what I do in the nighttime. So I recently posted a video on how to clear acne and lose weight naturally and in that video I briefly talked about some skincare products that I have been using and loving and a ton of you requested that I do a very thorough skincare routine using those skincare products so that's what today's video is all about. So welcome to my bathroom again. I have you propped up on my mirror using my mount. This is actually my car mount and it works surprisingly well. By the way, if my lips look a little bit blue right now, that's because it's freezing outside. It's snowing. It's so cold. And I'm always so cold when I wake up in the morning and it takes me like a couple hours to warm up and defrost. All right, so enough babbling. Let's just hop into my skincare routine. So the first thing I like to do is just tie my hair back so that it doesn't get in my way. Everyone always asks me where I got this little headband from with these cute little ears. I got it from iHerb. I think it's from a Korean brand. If I can find them, again, I will link them down below. I use this when I mask, I use this when I do my skincare routine, and it always keeps my hair out of my face. And then I just clip my hair away like that. So the first thing I do is I go in with a cleanser. This one is by Derma E. I should probably turn this off. This is by Derma E. I really, really like this cleanser. This is my second bottle already. This is the Even Tone Brightening Cleanser with licorice extract, vitamins B3 and C. So if you guys don't know, vitamin C is awesome for getting rid of pigmentation. This is an all natural brand, which I really love. It has great ingredients in it. So all I do is I put like a pump in my hand. If I am wearing makeup, I'll use two pumps. And then I use water that is cold, which is really, really important. Tell you why in a second but i just massage it gently into my skin and i'm making sure that it's really slippery because i'm going to be using a tool now so the reason why i use cold water is because i did a lot of research on it and cold water is actually the best for your skin make sure that your pores stay closed and whatever you do to your skin or put on your skin it's going to make sure that it's not um, aggravating your skin or inflaming your skin even more so now that my face is all nice and slippery i like to go in with this tool this is a jade stone facial massager i talked about this in that video that i mentioned in the beginning of this video so what i do is just i glide it on my face so i want you to look at my face now it's kind of puffy because yesterday i had a whole bag of salty popcorn and i woke up today with a lot of fluid retention on my face so this really helps with that so i start off on one side I start right about here. The last one of these grooves, I kind of make sure that it is right where my cheekbone is. And I go over this area about 30 times. It's four, five, six. I mean, do you guys see that difference? This side of my face is already more uplifted and most of the fluid is already gone. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then with this part over here, I go under the jawline and this kind of chisels the jaw and I go back and forth a few times. I'm gonna wet this a little because I'm talking too much and the cleanser has dried on my skin a bit. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And then I go in between the brows also with this little divot here. Go up and down like this 30 times. And what this does is improve collagen and elastin production, so it's gonna smooth out your wrinkles. It's like natural Botox. And don't worry about the redness that goes away in like a few seconds unless you have super super sensitive skin in which case it might take a little bit longer so now it's time to wash off the cleanser after washing off the cleanser i just go in with a towel and i gently pat my face you don't want to rub your face 
because the skin on your face is very um, thin and delicate. You guys see how much less puffy my face is now after I did that facial massage or it's like, it's insane. And I'm taking a cotton pad and I'm going in with this toner. This is the Biologique Recherche Lotion P50 PIGM 400. I talked about this in a video that I mentioned to you guys in the beginning of this video. So I just put some of it on a cotton pad and I pat it onto my skin. So the reason why I'm patting it into my skin is because rubbing it is very, very harsh for the skin. And Biologique Recherche is all about maintaining the integrity of your skin and making sure that you don't do anything that is too harsh or abrasive because they believe that it's going to damage your skin over time and cause wrinkles and all of that nasty stuff that we don't want. I personally don't want wrinkles. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, dabbing it into your face is... Patting it onto your face is the most gentlest way of applying it. And then I always bring it down to the neck. And the reason why I love this toner is because it has a lot of amazing balancing ingredients in it. So if your skin is not balanced, you're going to start to feel that the toner is tingling your skin. And then you're going to see some red spots. I don't have any red spots now because my skin has really balanced out after using this. I really love this brand. They use no fragrances in their products. So all their products, they're either fragrance free or they smell really, really bad. And they do this because they don't want to water down or dilute their products. They want them to remain as effective as possible. Okay, so now at this point, I go in with my serums. So these are also from Biologique Recherche. First, I go in with this one. This is the Amniotic E Serum. It looks like this. And all I do is put a couple of drops into the palm of my hand. Usually do like three. There we go. And I just pat it into my skin. Again, you don't want to rub because it's too harsh. And then I go in with this one and I also use this under my eyes because it's very hydrating for the eyes again. I'm gonna use three for my face. And then one drop for under each eye. And I always use my ring finger when I go under my eye because you have the least amount of pressure on this finger and it's the most gentlest. And that area under your eyes is very delicate and fragile. And if you pull on it too much and too hard for a long period of time, it creates sagging and wrinkles. All right, next I go in with this serum from Dermalot. Why do I have fluff flying all over me? You know what, I'm gonna unclip my hair because it's starting to hurt my head a little bit. That's what happens when you have a lot of hair on your head. This is by Dermalogica. This is the C12 Pure Bright Serum. I'm sure you guys probably remember that I had an episode of hormonal acne all over my cheeks and my chin. So as you can see, my acne is pretty much gone, but I still have some red spots those are acne marks that are left over from the acne minus that that's a that's a friendly reminder that that time of the month is right around the corner vitamin c is great for really brightening that up and evening out the skin tone so i just put one pump into my hands and again i just pat it into the areas where i have that pigmentation the next step is using a moisturizer with SPF. This is also by Dermalogica. This is the Pure Light SPF 50 Broad Spectrum. I love, first of all, that this product is so nice and thin. I personally really love the smell of it. I don't think it smells like sunscreen at all. It's really important to apply a sunscreen to your skin as part of your morning routine because it really protects your skin from the sun. It prevents wrinkling and sunspots and all of that wonderful stuff that comes with too much sun exposure. So I always, always, always use a moisturizer with broad spectrum SPF in my morning routine and this has been my favorite. And the last step, I know this sounds like a lot of steps, but I feel like every single part of my skincare routine has a rhyme or reason. So this is by Josie Marin. This is called the Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. The reason why I'm using this is because I have a cousin in California. She's actually the one who introduced me to the Biologique Recherche. Biologique Recherche, it's very difficult to say, range and she told me about using a finishing balm as a last step 
in your skincare routine and I did more research on it and basically the reason why it's so good for your skin is because it basically seals all of those amazing ingredients and products that you put on your skin as part of your hair uh, as part of your skincare routine and it prevents pollution or dirt or anything from getting into your pores so it kind of like seals everything in protects it from the environment and this one by Josie Marin also acts as a primer for makeup so if you did want to go ahead and apply uh, makeup right after this it creates a really nice base all right so that's it for my morning routine actually there's one more thing I should probably do my lips are super chopped and I love this dermalogic nightly lip treatment it's supposed to be for night but I don't care I use it day and night it's supposed to come with a little metal applicator but I dropped this on the floor and it broke off I drop everything so I just go over my lips like this all right so that wraps up my morning skincare routine and I will be back soon to show you my nighttime skincare routine approximately 10 hours later hey guys it's um, already nighttime. I had some makeup on today because I went out to see my cousin and my nephews and I look like a hot mess right now because I was playing around with a three and a half year old and a one and a half year old for four hours. So I'm exhausted and look a little bit worse for wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take off my makeup and show you what I do as my nighttime routine. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna do a mask because my skin needs it right now. So I'm gonna put on my trusty little headband again and I'm gonna go in with some coconut oil first just to loosen up my makeup and make it easier to remove. My favorite is the naked coconuts i get this from my local health food store talking and vlogging is a lot more difficult than it appears and while i'm going to use this to slough off my makeup i'm just taking two cotton pads and i'm soaking them with the sephora waterproof eye makeup remover this is my favorite waterproof eye makeup remover so i'm just soaking them like so putting them on my counter and I'm gonna go in and start putting my makeup. Fun times, people, fun times. All right, so now that I've removed the hard part of my makeup, I'm going in with my Derma E facial cleanser again. And this time I'm gonna use two pumps. I'm using cold water to do that. I'm just gonna lather it up and cleanse the face. All right, so the face is cleansed and I'm gonna go back in with my Biologique Recherche facial toner on a cotton pad and then dab dab away. The lighting in here is horrendous. All right, I'm gonna mask now. So I'm gonna get my little ceramic dish and this Sephora flat foundation brush and today I'm going to use the Biologique Recherche mask. This smells like poop and it looks like poop. Actually it looks like baby poop because it's like this weird light pukey brown color. Whew. So I'm just going to put a little bit into this dish here. It smells like crap, but the reason why I use it is because I see amazing results. My skin looks so healthy and glowy after this, especially when I add in a few drops of these serums. I add like three or four drops of each. First, I'm going to go in with the Oligo Proteins Marines. I totally butchered that. This is also from Biologique Recherche. So I don't think I told you guys the benefits of this one. This one, I'm pretty sure it is like for super dehydrated skin so it adds a ton of moisture and hydration and then i add in a few drops of this one this is the amniotic e serum i'm pretty sure this is made from some kind of amniotic fluid yes it is made from amniotic fluid i'm going to be completely honest with you i have absolutely no idea what benefits this has this was a custom recommendation that was made from my skin type by a Biologique Recherche facialist. So I'm assuming that it's good for my personal skin type. It also has embryo extract in it. So in go 
four drops of that. Today would be nice. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna go in with my brush and just mix that all together. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to my clean skin. Oh, this really smells like puke. That's the thing about these products. They either have no scent or smell really awful, but I've used this mask several times before and I know that the benefits totally outweigh the cons. I'm not going to put any on my nose because my nose is still very sensitive and sore after my surgery and this mask is really sticky and hard to wash off, so I'm just going to apply it to my forehead and cheek area. All right, I am done basting myself and I'm gonna go relax for about 20 minutes to half an hour and then I'm gonna come back and wash everything off. A few moments later. All right, so I'm done marinating. It's been about half an hour since I applied Z-Musk to my face. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. By the way guys, I did want to mention that I don't mask every day. This is not a part of my everyday night care routine. It's something that I do once or twice a week. I thought that I would mention it to you guys because I do do it on a regular basis. I just don't do it on a daily basis. So normally I skip the step of masking. So after I tone my face, normally I would go straight to my serum. So the first serum that I apply is this one by the Abnormal beauty company this is alpha arbutin 2% plus hyaluronic acid this is great for tackling acne marks and pigmentation so I just take a little dime size amount like that and I pat it into my skin and anytime I'm applying serum or moisturizer to my face first of all I'm very gentle when I apply it to my skin and I also apply it in an upwards motion to lift forehead I'll just jab like that whatever is left over because majority of my pigmentation is around this area and once it feels like it has seeped into the skin, I will go in with my nighttime moisturizer. This is by Dermalogica. By the way, I also have a daytime and nighttime moisturizer by Biologique Recherche, but I haven't opened them up yet because the ingredients are so active and there are very little preservatives in them. As soon as you open them up, they go bad in like six months. So it's imperative that you use them right away. So I want to use up my Dermalogica products first before I break into those bad boys. I really like Dermalogica too. I feel like the ingredients in Dermalogica products are very clean as well. And I really like the effectiveness of them. And anytime I have a leftover product, I always drag it down the neck. And if I'm wearing an open neckline, I like to bring it down to my decolletage area as well. And notice that when I'm applying it to my neck, I'm also going in and upwards lifting motion. I love the packaging on the Dermalogica products because they pretty much all have a pump so it prevents oxygen from getting inside of the products and basically making them go bad a lot faster. Now I'm going to go in with my serum for my eyes. I'm going to put one drop on this ring finger and another drop on the other. And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with my Dermalogica Nightly Lip Treatment again and make sure that those lips are nice and baby soft. And there you have it. That is my daily skincare routine, what I do in the day and night. And I also threw in a little bit of masking in there. This was the most thorough skincare routine video I have done to date. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight in terms of which products I have been loving and have been working for my personal skin type. I thought I would quickly mention that my skin is dry. I don't have sensitive skin, but it is very, very deep hydrated and I suffer from acne marks and pigmentation from my episode of hormonal acne. So aside from that, my skin is pretty balanced and I am absolutely obsessed with everything that I have been using for the past few months. I'm going to stop blabbing because it is really late and I should probably go to bed. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me in my bathroom and I hope to see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.